Okay, hello Cloud Gurus and welcome to AWS This Week. I'm your host, Ryan Krinenberg. So there's been a few announcements this week. We have new EC2 instance type. We've got target tracking policies for EC2 auto scaling. We've got .NET Core support in AWS CodeStar and AWS Code Build. We've got new resources that will help you quickly build deep learning solutions. Amazon's EC2 Systems Manager Patch Manager now supports Linux. And we've announced the dates for Serverless Conf New York. So in 2013, AWS released the G instance type and customers use this instance type to deliver high performance graphics to mobile devices, TV sets and desktops. And now AWS have launched a new instance type, the G3 instance type. And this is powered by Nvidia Tesla M60 GPUs. And these instance types are available in three different sizes, one GPU, two GPU and four GPUs. And this is a great fit for 3D rendering and visualization, virtual reality, video encoding, remote graphics workstation, and other server-side graphics workload that need massive parallel processing. So a couple of weeks ago, Amazon rolled out auto-scaling for DynamoDB. And the way that this was made possible is by using a new feature called target tracking. And AWS plans to roll out target tracking across multiple services. So what is target tracking? Well, basically, you just choose a particular target value for a particular CloudWatch metric, and then um, you can auto-scale based off that value. So there's a new target that's available now for auto-scaling, and this is the request count for application load balancers. So instead of auto scaling based off CPU performance, you can now actually auto scale based off request count and it allows you to basically auto scale much more intelligently. Now at the AWS San Francisco Summit, there was a new service announced called CodeStar. And CodeStar is basically a cloud service designed to make it easier to develop, build, and deploy applications on AWS by simplifying the setup of your entire development project. Now when CodeStar was first released, it was uh, supported by five languages, JavaScript, Java, Python, Ruby, and PHP. And this week, Amazon have announced that .NET Core is now supported as well. So if you're a Windows developer, you can go and use CodeStar for your project. Now, one of the first books I ever read as a child was iRobot by Isaac Asimov. And ever since then, I've been fascinated by artificial intelligence and machine learning. Now, AWS have a number of different AI and machine learning uh, services. However, it's not a very easy thing to learn. Now, this week, Tara Walker has shared some tutorials and data sets that make it actually easy to learn. And you can launch a AWS deep learning AMI. You can create a computer vision application to identify numbers written by hand. There's also some AWS machine learning data sets. And then there's predict and extract tutorial, which allows you to use pre-trained models for predictions. EC2 Systems Manager was launched at reInvent in 2016, and it makes it easier to manage fleets of EC2 instances. And inside EC2 Systems Manager is Patch Manager, and this allows you to manage patching your instances at scale. However, when it was released, only Windows instances was supported, and customers frequently uh, requested support for Linux instances. And this week, AWS have now announced that Linux is going to be supported with Patch Manager. This includes Amazon Linux, Ubuntu Server, and Red Hat Server 6.5 or later. And then finally, we've announced Serverless Conf New York, and it's going to be happening from the 8th of October to the 11th of October. And on the 8th, we're going to be running some hackathons. On the 9th, we're going to have some workshops. And the 10th and the 11th is going to be the conference itself. We've got some amazing speakers lined up. And it's in an amazing venue. It's the New World Stages Theatre, where Avenue Q has been running for many, many years. Uh, and me and the rest of the team will be there. So if you do get a chance, make sure you check it out. That's it for AWS this week. Cloud Gurus, keep being awesome, and I'll See you next week.